in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the quasi energy of crystal so basically this energy is released when a crystal is formed from individual line uh, rather than from individual atoms and this quasi energy uh, of an ionic crystal is different from the ionic uh, your uh, quasi energy of diatomic molecules since in diatomic di molecules the interaction is between two ions but in ionic crystals the each ion interacts with all other ions which are present in the crystal and this cohesive energy is expressed in electron volt per uh, per atom or molecule so now let us calculate the cohesive energy of ionic crystal so let us consider a, an n sodium chloride crystal and u i j with the interaction energy between ith and jth ion of the crystal i will take uh, so uh, arbitrary ions suppose there are n number of ions and i will pick up two ions first is ith and second is jth any number of atoms and the uh, any position and uh, let the total energy of the total cohesive energy can be expressed as the sum of individual contribution and uh, so let us considering i am for, for the interaction so let us consider ith ion is interacting with all the other ions in the crystal so now now this summation can be general, uh, generalized by using the summation from j1 to n where i is not equal to j this term i is not equal to j term neglects the self interaction that means your ith ith ion cannot interact with its self so this rejects the possibility of self interaction so now this further this uij is uh, composed of two terms first is your uh, that means uh, uh, coulomb energy term coulomb attraction term and another is uh, uh, central field repulsive potential which is of uh, exponential term so now this represents your central field potential and this arises because this also negates the possibility of overlapping of ion so further when ions are attracted to each other so they cannot overlap because particular ion have a uh, electronic load suppose let us consider sodium ion it will have uh, it's, it is it will have electronic load electron will be in the orbits and you can say that it is electronic load and if further chloride ion is here so it is attracting but they cannot overlap each other because electron will be there electron cloud there electron cloud so when they very close to each other they electron and electron repel each other so thus this repulsion is expressed in this repulse center field repulsion so and this is coulomb attraction term plus term will represent your repulsion and the negative term will be represent your attraction this coulomb interaction your we can say coulomb and potential energy and here r i j is the distance between ith and jth atom and q is the charge on the each ion so let us consider this is as equation 1 this is as equation 2 and uh, so now so let us consider that here lambda and this rho are your empirical factor they are added by for that is experimental factors and they are uh, they are ref referred to your lattice energy and this is for compressibility of uh, your crystal so now let us put this equation 2 into equation number 1 so this will given as your u i total energy will be smission j u i j smission j is equal to 1 to n u i is not equal to j this will be lambda exponential minus r i j upon rho plus minus q square for i epsilon not r i j this is equation number 3 so now i want to add one thing here so that 
here it must be noted that a small contribution of the order of one or two percent is made by weak van der Waals attractive interaction but the main contribution here you in the uij is due to the cohesive energy is the electrostatic mean is why this electrostatic and this energy is known as your midlung energy this is known as midlung energy so now now uh, we will mm, take an approximation now for ex convenience let us express this rij this rij in terms of nearest neighbor distance r so this rij can be expressed as the this is your p i j into r this r is the nearest neighbor distance means if i am taking a i uh, i than as a reference sign so now how many nearest neighbors are surrounded surrounded this ith reference ion so that means this r is the distance for your nearest neighbor distance so and where this pij is a dimensional quantity means this, is, this will be 3 2 1 so this is your near uh, dimensional quantity so now uh, this can be split now further into two conditions so this u i so now this u i cohesive energy or you can say midlung energy is split into two terms first is for nearest neighbor and other for other ions you can say second third fourth nearest neighbors so now if we include the repulsive interaction among the nearest neighbors so now if you consider the repulsive interaction here is attractive now you can also include that is plus plus will be for that is repulsion so now if we include the repulsive interaction among the nearest neighbors and if we consider there are z nearest neighbor of ith ions so then we have so if we have i uh, z number of nearest neighbors for the i sign because i i am from beginning i am taking as a reference sign so, so this will be lambda z exponential minus r upon rho plus minus now plus is for repulsion here it was only for attraction this will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this will be sigma j square p i j to r so now for nearest neighbor this r i j will be equal to r because p i j will be for nearest neighbor p i j will be equal to 1 so let us consider this is equation number 4 so now for NACL the value of this UI does not depend upon the reference sign I so it may it may be taken as uh, your positive or negative so and as long as it is not near the surface and hence neglecting the surface effects if we neglect the surface effects in the sodium ion crystal sodium chloride crystal so then your u total this u i yeah you can say because here i thine is not is uh, is not taken as it does not depend upon the reference sign so you can say that u total in case of uh, in case of sodium chloride crystal because this in sodium chloride crystal your this energy does not depend upon the reference sign so this will be u total and also surface effects are neglected so this will be because since you consider that your sodium ion sodium chloride crystal consists of n and capital n positive ions and capital n negative ions so, so therefore the total ions in the this sodium chloride crystal will be 2n 
so then the total contribution will be 2n upon 2 sigma j to u i j this will be n u i because this, this n will be because this in this case this this does not depend upon the energy does not depend upon the reference sign so therefore there will be n positive and n negative so this will be 2n the contribution will be only from n so and since each pair of interaction is counted only once each pair that is plus and minus it is only counted once and hence only n is taken rather than 2n so each pair okay. have two ions so therefore this this 2n this two factor is cancelled out because the pair is counted only once so then your total energy will be n into ui equation number five using equation four and five we get so now by using four and five we put the value of ui into this equation so now this equation further will become lambda jet exponential minus r upon rho this will be minus alpha q square is 4 pi epsilon naught into r so here in this equation here where alpha is equal to sigma summation j minus plus one by that is uh, rho i j so this will be equation number six this is equation number seven where this alpha is known as middle constant alpha is known as mid lung constant where this is your dimensionless quantity so now this choice of this plus minus or minus plus it depends upon the your uh, reference sign that means if reference sign i is a uh, positively charged this will be plus and uh, this negative will be reference sign if reference sign is negatively charged so this can also be written as your uh, alpha your j plus minus rho i j this is only in case of positive and negative reference ions so now since your r i j that is the distance between i th and j th atom so this was p i j into r this was in terms of your nearest neighbor distance capital r so putting to this we can write this middle and constant your plus minus p i j will be this side so this will be r upon r i j so now this this can be also written as alpha upon r this will be j plus minus 1 upon r i j this is equation number 8 so now from this equation it is clear that alpha depends upon the structure of crystal that is this alpha depends upon the structure of the crystal and it has the same value for all crystal of the stream structure suppose uh, if this particular crystal uh, sodium chloride has a xcc and if another um, another uh, suppose uh, diamond it has also have fcc structure somewhat additional four atoms and uh, thus it will have same values of somewhat same values of your middle and constant alpha so now at equilibrium at equilibrium the distance will become nearest neighbor distance will become r naught for the nearest neighbor and your 
u total will also become minimum because equilibrium or at stable maximum stability the energy becomes minimum that is minimum energy state that is most stable state or most probable state so they, thus for this condition your uh, slope will be zero your gradient of your u total will also equal to zero so thus so thus from your uh, u total thus differentiate this equation with respect to r so thus you can write like this that your uh, so thus we have to that integrate this equation differentiate this equation so now if we differentiate because this has dependence upon r so this will be minus n upon rho to lambda z exponential will be minus r upon rho differentiate karenge to kya ho jayega this this minus 1 upon rho will be outside and this will be the same this will be minus this 1 upon r if you differentiate 1 upon r this will be minus 1 upon r square this will be plus and this will be alpha q square for epsilon not this will be r if we put the value of this r is equal to r not this will be r not this will be r not this will be equal to and n will be also because i multiplied this by n n will be also be equal to zero this will be equal to zero so now this will be n lambda z upon rho exponential minus r not upon rho minus this will be this side this will be minus n alpha q square 4 pi epsilon not to r not so n will be cancelled out minus will be cancelled out n will be cancelled out so you can find out the value of this exponential here this will be go on, on this other side now this is the resulting equation now put this value of this exponential r naught by rho into equation number 6 that's why we get using equation 6 and 9 we get that is your u total will become your uh, that means your n lambda on z exponential or r naught will be rho will be this will be mm, what is the value this value 1 upon 4 by epsilon naught upon 2 alpha q square z lambda r naught square minus alpha q square upon four pi epsilon naught into r so thus this will be thus this will be this is also common this also is equal to common so and lambda z lambda z will be cancelled so now you can say that this will be n will be also here same and this will be common n 4 by silent naught and uh, this will be rho alpha q square r naught square minus alpha q square r naught 
this further can be written as take this common whole term so this will be your uh, yeah you take this whole term alpha take care on around this term this will be minus one this will be row upon r naught or this will be minus n alpha q square four pi by epsilon naught r naught this will be one minus rho upon r naught this will be u total this is equation number 10 and hence here this term n alpha q square 4 by epsilon naught minus is known as midlung energy this term here the term minus n alpha q square 4 epsilon naught r naught is called mid lung energy so now let us know the process how to evaluate the mid lung constant so now to calculate the mid lung motion let us consider a one dimensional one dimensional uh, your uh, infinite line of alternate charges alternate charge plus and both negative so now let us consider this negative as a reference sign and uh, r be the distance between the nearest neighboring ions so now from the above process we know that the, this is the formula for your alpha upon r this is alpha is the middle constant this is uh, distribution j 1 to n plus minus 1 upon rij rij is the distance between i th and j th atom the j th ion and this will be simplified by rho ij into r because your rij is equal to pij r where r is the nearest neighbor distance and pij is the dimensionless quantity so now so this equation can be simplified r alpha upon r this will be 2 into 1 upon r this minus from here to here this negative from here to here this will be 2r 2r from here to here this is 3 plus 1 upon 3r minus 1 upon 4r plus so on here 2 is factor is here because from here to the left side distance is r and this reference sign is here to here from here to left is r same distance from here to here sorry here to here left is from same to here is same so therefore this is for left and this is from left and right this two is included here because this reference sign is at equal distances either left left or right so now taking r 2 upon r 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus so on so r r cancel this will be going to upon so 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 1 by 4 plus so on so this series is analogous for particular series in mathematics so let us calculate that since we know that this natural log 1 upon x is equal to x square minus x minus x square upon 2 plus x cube upon 3 minus x plus so on let's put x is equal to 1 so this will becomes natural log 2 this will be 1 minus 1 square 1 plus 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4 so that's that series we have uh, calculated is equal to natural log 2 so thus uh, alpha is equal to 
2 into natural log 2 so nat this will be if you calculate this so this will be 1.38 so thus you we can calculate the Madelung constant for any structure such as NaCl cesium chloride for any structure so in this example I have calculated one dimensional so you can take the for two dimensional for three dimensional uh, atom uh, ionic arrangements